In this Flutter tutorial, let's check out how to integrate ResaPay in your Flutter application. So let's get started. So here are the steps that you need to follow to implement ResaPay in Flutter. So first of all, you need to create or sign in into your ResaPay dashboard and get the API key and then use this API key to implement a ResaPay gateway in your Flutter application. So let's do it one by one. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a account in our reserve pay which i have already done so i will just uh, visit reservepay.com and login into my account okay so to create an account all you need to do is you just need to fill your email address phone number and password and your account will get registered immediately and as you can see i have a testing mode for now and if i want a live uh, mode then i need to complete this act uh, activation process where i need to do kyc and all okay uh, so for now i have just completed the testing mode because for this video tutorial i want to just show a testing part okay so you all you need to do is you just need to go to testing mode and you can see over here you are in a testing mode and then the second step is we need a api key of our testing mode so just go to settings and over here you can see you can create or generate a new uh, api key so i have already created it you can just see it over here so i am going to use this same okay so now let's go to our android studio and create a flutter project okay so before getting into a coding part let's understand what we are going to implement in this tutorial so here you can see i have an app been running on my device which has been connected through usb and i'm just uh, screen sharing my screen so this is the app there is an item being shown over here and when i press on a button buy now button you can see razor pay payment gateway gets open or a portal gets open where the user can select different mode by which he want to make a payment such as upi and other things okay so here you can see the amount that the user is willing to pay to buy the product so here the user can enter his upi id something like this so as my api is testing i can enter anything for a testing purpose and when a user press on this pay now button the upi id will get his real upi id will get a request to make a payment and when he makes the real payment then uh, this app will automatically detect the payment was successful or no and depending on that the user will get response or the order will get successfully ordered okay so i'm just paying now so as it is a test mode you can see these are the events payment was successfully okay so now let's go to our dashboard and check okay so you can see i have received 200 rupees 400 rupees so two payments i have done so one i have done for a testing purpose before so overall i have received 600 rupees from my testing app okay so you can see these are the details that you received in your reserve pay dashboard so if we go to this you can see the customer details is over here his phone number his details and everything you can just get from the user app okay so now let's go to our android studio and implement the same okay so now we are in our android studio ide and here i have created a flutter project by name razor example and for just for time saving purpose i have created a app bar over here and in body i have a list view and and it has an item list tell item and there is a button when press i want to make a payment by making use of razor pay gateway okay so let's implement razor pay in our flutter application so first of all we need to add a reserve pay dependency in our project as an external library so for that just go to pub specification.yaml file and under dependency section add the package so razor pay flutter so this is the uh, package we need and i want a toast message so i will just add it flutter toast and after adding these dependencies just hit this pub get button 
so it will download this both the dependencies as an external library okay now come back to main dot dart page where you want to implement reserve pay so you just need to import it so import razor pay flutter dot dart and also the toast message package so import flutter toast okay so now okay so now we have cre created an account created an api key for test app integrated uh, created a flutter project or opened a flutter project added a dependency imported the class and next step is we need to create a reserve pay instance and initialize a event handler so let's do that okay so now we are back to our android studio so let's create a reserve pay instance and initialize it so here in your stateful widget over here so just create a reserve pay uh, instance by creating an object of it inside init state reserve pay is equal to reserve pay okay uh, so initialization of reserve pay has been done and now we need to assign a error handling or a event handling for the same so let's do that so here uh, reserve pay dot on reserve pay dot event su payment successful so this is the event and here we need to call a method that will show a proper message to the user so let's do it later and then the second thing is error handling so reserve pay dot on reserve pay dot event payment error and here we need to create a separate function for that to show proper message to the user so let's do it and the third thing is wallet so external wallet so here payment external wallet and for this also we need to attach a uh, separate handler so let's create a function which i have already done so i will just copy paste the code over here so i will just create a function so here i have created three functions one is to show a proper successful message to the user one is to show a error to the user and one is for external uh, wallet so for this tutorial i'm not going to use this so i'm just shown this to you you can just use this external wallet also okay so i will just call this function in this handler okay so inside this function there is nothing but a toast message that will be shown to the user on his front end after successful payment or whenever there is a error so you can just uh, customize this error handling or successful uh, event handling as per your needs in your ui so the same thing for external libraries also there is a toast message okay okay so the creation of razor pay instance has been done and the initialization of event handling has been done with the uh, respective functions of our event handling and now let's create a function that loads inbuilt payment page uh, where a user can make a payment by making use of razor pay ui okay so let's do this now okay so now we are back to our android studio ide and here let's create a function that invokes razor pay uh, payment gateway page so let's create it so void make payment i will just name our function which will be of type asynchronization because the payment will take some time so i'm just creating this function as async okay so here uh, in razor pay there is a property called as option so you just need to create a object where you want to declare the type of payment you are uh, willing to accept from the customer the amount that you are willing to take from the customer okay so here let's create it okay so let me explain you what is been done over here in this option object so first of all we need to uh, give a api key over here uh, where, which we get from our dashboard so from this setting page 
we get our API key so I will just copy it and paste it over here okay and the second thing is the amount that you are willing to take from your customer so here uh, 20,000 means actually it is in a paisa so here you will get 200 rupees so if you want uh, 2000 then you need to enter 2 lakh paisa over here and this is your business name of your company the description just to show you so the customer or your app user that he is paying for this product and this is the pre-fill uh, this has been used to get the customer information to your reserve pay dashboard so you can see over here okay so these are the payments so if we go to any payment details so you can see you get customer details over here so this is the prefill okay so this object has been created so now we need to uh, turn on or call our uh, reserve pay to open the payment gateway okay so catch so here we need to do it in try and catch block in try block reserve pay instance that we need that we have created we need to use it dot open and inside this open function we need to pass our option and that's it and your api integration has been done so let's run this app on our device and check it out okay so now when i press on this button okay so nothing is happening yeah okay so i just forgot to call this method when the button is been pressed so let's do that okay so hot refresh so let's check it now so i'm just pressing on this button so you can see razor pay gateway uh, will get open and here the user can make a payment so let's do for testing purpose okay so i'm just pressing on the pay button now so you can see the payment was successful so let's go to our razor pay dashboard and check if we have received it or no okay so you can see i have just re received the payment just now so here you can see the details of the customer who made the payment and for which product he has made the payment okay so this is how you can implement razor pay in your flutter application thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you